The local utility company sent out tree trimming crews to trim the trees next to the power lines. And as you can see here, they dropped several branches on my vinyl shed and punctured holes in the roof. In this video, I'll show you the steps I've taken to patch these holes. The first step you're going to want to take is to thoroughly clean the area where you are going to apply patching. I purchased this sheet of vinyl uh, from Amazon. I'll leave the link to this product in the description below. So while you're waiting for your shed to dry, go ahead and take the time to cut out the patches that you will be using in the repair. Here you can see I just scored it a couple times and then bent it and then finished cutting all the way through. During these subsequent cuts that I made, I discovered that this vinyl sheeting is soft enough that just two or three cuts and it goes all the way through. So I stopped uh, the practice of bending it. I recommend cutting the patches so that they extend at least uh, one half inch beyond the edges of the holes. If you've ever worked with PVC uh, pipe primer before, you'll know that it is very thin and very messy. And to assist with the preventing a big mess uh, all over my shed, I decided to go ahead and tape around the area I'm going to cement. To assist with adhesion, you're going to want to take some sandpaper, I used about uh, 150 grit, and rough up the area a little bit uh, before applying the primer. Uh, this will do two things, uh, it will help clean it up some more, and it will give it a more of a rough uh, texture for the adhesive to adhere to. I put this rag down to uh, help prevent the primer from making a big mess. As you can see, it is very thin and very runny. I dabbed off of quite a bit of the uh, primer before using it. And as you can see here, I'm trying to be careful not to let it uh, run over the edges or you'll end up with a mess on the other side. You're going to apply the primer to both the patch and to the section of roof which the patch will be stuck on. You're going to apply a liberal amount of uh, cement to both the patch and to the roof. You're going to want to try to apply this fairly quickly because this adhesive 
dries pretty fast. If you find that a portion of the uh, area has dried already before you apply the patch, put another coat on it before you try to uh, put the patch in place. After setting the patch in place, you're going to want to firmly hold it there for about 30 seconds. If you do get some primer on an area where you don't want it, uh, if possible, wipe it off as soon as you see it. And if need be, you can always go back and, and sand it off. It does take a little bit of work, but I found some success in sanding it off. And here are the results of the work I just did on patching. Uh, as you can see, it's not a perfect matching color, but I do expect these patches to yellow somewhat over time. If the color becomes too different, I plan to paint over them. Hey, if you found this video useful, please click the like button. And while you're at it, please hit the subscribe if you'd like to see more of my content.